This tutorial presents a concise yet technical overview of the steps involved in installing Windows instances within the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or EC2. EC2 is part of the Amazon Web Services family of products. There doesn't seem to be a separate login link, so I usually click the Sign Up button every time. When working with Amazon, security conscious people prefer to use an email address different than their personal email, creating email names containing numbers as well as just names. The email set out account is then forwarded to a common email address. For convenience, create a strong password, one containing a mix of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Some vary the password slightly for each website, so they don't ever use a password that has been provided to any other website. And because Especially, Amazon has your credit card number. If someone obtains your generic password by hacking into another site, it only takes seconds to erase all your data and perhaps ring up a large bill you may end up paying. Amazon offers instances in two separate availability zones, one in the U.S. and one in Europe. Windows instances are slightly more costly than Linux instances. And the big difference between what Amazon offers versus traditional Internet service providers is this billing by the hour rather than renting a month or year at a time. If you're going to be working with EC2 frequently, I suggest you create a shortcut to this link address. Notice that there's also an AWS Management Console. If you click here, that gets you to your account where the access identifiers are listed. 